Hi, I'm John from Chatomize, and in this video, I will show you how you can create an SMS chatbot without writing a single line of code. And I will give you all the steps that you need to take in order to create your own SMS chatbot, and I will even give you a free template that you can use to get started right now. So without further ado, let's dive in. So in order to create our SMS chatbot, we are going to use ManyChat and Twilio. And we're going to use ManyChat to actually create the chatbot, to create the chat flows. And we're going to use Twilio for the sending and receiving of the text messages. And it's also good to know that this SMS chatbot will work all over the world. So it doesn't matter which country you're in. So the first step that we actually need to take is create our own ManyChat account. So what you need to do is you need to go to chatomize.com slash mc and I will also add this link in the description and this will bring you directly to the ManyChat website. And then here you can click on get started for free and then here you can log in with your Facebook account but I already have an account so I'll just click on sign in and then click on sign in with Facebook. And once you are logged in to your ManyChat account, you need to click on settings and click on SMS. And then here we are going to connect ManyChat to Twilio. So if we click on connect, then you will see that you need to do three steps. So we need to sign up with Twilio, we need to obtain a phone number, and we need to connect our Twilio account with ManyChat. So if we click on this link, and this will bring us directly to the Twilio website. So here you can just click on sign up, and then you can create your own free Twilio account. So you just need to fill in your first name, your last name, your email and a password, and then you will get your free trial. But I already have an account, so I will just click on login and I will log in with my login information. And now I'm inside my Twilio dashboard. And for this tutorial, I will be using a trial account. So when you create a free account with Twilio, you actually get $15 in balance and you can use those $15 to test out integrations like these. So once you have signed up to Twilio, the next step is to actually get a phone number. So when you have signed up with Twilio, you don't have a phone number yet, then normally here's a button with get a free phone number. But I already did that. So here you can see my Twilio phone number, but once you get that, just Twilio will create a random phone number for you that you can use to test out an SMS chatbot and connect it to ManyChat. And what's also really important is that if you have a trial account, you can only text this number with certain phone numbers, and these are called verified phone numbers. So if we click on this link, you can actually determine which phone numbers can text your Twilio number. And these are called verified caller IDs. So what you need to do, is you need to click on add a new caller ID, and then you need to add your own phone number, and then this will appear over here like I just did. And this is practically all we need. So we got our account as ID, we got our authorization token, and we got our Twilio phone number, and that's all we need in order to connect it to ManyChat. So if we click on connect here, then I will just copy these one by one. And it's really important that you don't share your authorization token with anyone else, because then anyone else can just use your Twilio account. That's not something that you want. So I'll just copy these and click on connect. And now we connected our ManyChat account to Twilio and we can start with creating our SMS chatbot. So let's say we are a productivity coach and we are giving away a free five day challenge. So people can actually sign up for that challenge within our SMS chatbot and then over the course of five days they will get productivity tips. So what we're going to do now is first we are going to create the user registration flow where they can sign up for the challenge and then we are going to create the sequence that will send the productivity tips over the course of five days. So if we go to automation and click on new flow and then we can create our user registration flow and click on add trigger. And a trigger in ManyChat is something that will activate your flow. And in this case, we want to activate the flow when someone messages us a phrase with the word challenge in it. So we are going to do that by choosing for SMS and choosing the SMS keyword. And if the message contains 
challenge and click on create here. So if the message contains challenge, then we are going to activate this flow and then this flow will be sent. So the first step will be an SMS message. And in order to sign up for the challenge, we actually want to know their first name and their email. So we are going to first ask for their first name, then for their email, and then they are signed up for the challenge. And because we're asking for information from the user, we are going to use the user input. So here's the user input. We're going to delete this first message. And then here, I will just copy some text. And we can say, hey there, thank you for requesting our five day challenge to let you participate. We need some information from you. And we can say, what is your name? And then the reply type will be first name. And that will be it. And then if someone has replied to this message, then they will get another message. And that's really important to understand. So if they don't reply to this message, they will never get the next message. And then here we want to ask for their email address. So what we can do here is we can say, nice to meet you. And then we can actually use their first name inside our SMS chatbot. So what you can do is you can click on these brackets and then you can just type first name. And you can just say, nice to meet you, for example, Jordan. So what they filled in in the previous question, we can actually use that value over here. And then we can say, what is your email? And the reply type will be email. It will be saved to the system field. And we are going to remove this because otherwise they can skip this question. So that's really important. We are also going to remove this. So if they reply with a message that is not an email, then ManyChat will automatically say, please enter a correct email address and they give an example. So, so this is working. And then as the last message, we are going to say, you are successfully registered for our challenge. You will get your first productivity tip in about 30 seconds. And then we can add a nice icon. And then we can hit publish. So that is working. So now every time someone messages us something with the word challenge in it, we're going to ask for their name, ask for their email, and then they are signed up for our challenge. So the next step is to actually send the productivity tips over the course of five days. And in order to do this, we are going to use a sequence. So a sequence is a series of messages with a certain time interval in between. So we can send them a ManyChat flow then we can wait for one day and then again send them a ManyChat flow and this goes on and on and on. So what you need to do is you need to go to automation, go to sequences and then click on new sequence and this will be called the five day challenge. Click on create and then we are going to add our first message and this message will be sent immediately. So once they are signed up for a challenge, then immediately we will send them the first productivity tip. So that's immediately. And then we're going to create a new reply. And this will be a very simple reply. So this will be first name. Here is your first productivity tip. And then I would just type in insert tip. And then we can say, if you want more information, follow the link here. And then you can just add a link to your website. And it's also important that ManyChat automatically makes this link short. And that's really important with SMS because on SMS you don't have a lot of characters. You only have 160 characters per message. So they automatically create a short link from it and this will go to the website address you put over here. So now we can click on done and then we can click on publish. And then if we go back to automation, we go to sequence, we go to the five day challenge, then we can add them another message. So here we can say the next message will be sent after one day. And normally I would set it to one day and also in the template that I will be giving to you, it will be one day. But in order to show you that this is working, I will just set it now to one minute. So here this will be one minute. And then we're going to send them another flow. And this will be very similar. 
So this will be, here is your second productivity tip. And third tip. And uh, that will be it. Click on publish. And then if we go back to automation, go to sequences, the five day challenge, then we need to activate these messages and that should be working. So the next step is to actually start this sequence when someone signed up for the challenge. So we need to go back to our main flow and then add another action which will add people to this sequence. So what you need to do is you need to go to automation, go to the flow that we created in the beginning and then here we need to add another action. So here we can add it, add an action and this will be the subscribe to sequence. And this means that someone will be getting the sequence that we just created. So here we have the five day challenge and then we can hit publish. So that should be working. And now I will head over to my mobile phone and you will see it in action. And now I am on my mobile phone and I will just type in challenge. And then you get, hey there, thank you for requesting our five day challenge, what is your name? And because we're on a Twilio trial account, it will say send from your Twilio trial account, but this won't be happening if you have a paid account. And because we're getting the first message from our ManyChat SMS chatbot, ManyChat automatically adds send stop to opt out. And if you want to change this message, you actually need to submit a support request with ManyChat support. So for now, I will just type in my name. And then it says, nice to meet you, Joran. What is your email? So then I will just type in my email. And then it says you are successfully registered for our challenge and you will get your first productivity tip in about 30 seconds. So now I will be subscribed to the sequence and then the sequence will send me my first productivity tip. And as expected, it says Joran, here is your first productivity tip. And if you want more information, follow the link here. And when you click on that link, that will go to the link that you have put in inside ManyChat. And then after one minute, it will also send the other message in our sequence, which will be the second productivity tip. And then it says, here is your second productivity tip. So this is working. We have signed up for our challenge by using our first name and our email, and then we activated the sequence, which are sending the productivity tips over the course of five days. And that's it. That's how you can create an SMS chatbot without writing a single line of code. And in the description, I added a link, and this will bring you directly to a free template with the exact chatbot that we created today. So if you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have questions on creating SMS chatbot or on using ManyChat and Twilio, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.